Hello, and welcome to another episode of C. Damon Trek. Now, one thing I haven't said before is that I would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and also give me a few likes. It'll help with the algorithm. But the reason I want you to do that is my wife and I have made a commitment that we will donate every single penny we make from these videos to different charities around the world. So with that, I'd like to go ahead and start with why do I like Thailand so much? So in 2004, the army sent me to Thailand for about five months. And while I was there, I was like, oh my God, this is absolutely heaven. The people are so nice, the tropical breeze, the environment, the cost of living is cheap, the food is to die for, there's athletics like Muay Thai and all that stuff. Certainly, life doesn't get any better than this. No one's ever challenged me to find a better country. Now, since then, I've been to Thailand about 10 times now. On my seventh trip, I met my wife. Um, wasn't anticipating getting married. Uh, she put something in my drink. I fell hopelessly in love. And by my eighth trip, uh, we were married. Um, there are so many towns with different flavors. Uh, Thailand, a lot of people go to Thailand and think, oh, it's just Thailand. No, Bangkok. Oh my God, Bangkok speaks for itself. But I would recommend for your first visit, not staying in Bangkok. You're going to probably fly into Bangkok, but I wouldn't stay in Bangkok. And the reason why is that city is so immense. It's so big that you can get a flavor for it, but I don't know if you'll ever really know it enough in just one visit. So you've got other towns. You've got the beach towns of Wahin. You've got Phuket in the south. And of course, you've got Pattaya. You've got the inland towns of Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, and Kurat. Now, because my in-laws live in the northern part of Thailand up by Chiang Rai, when my wife and I, when we like to vacation now, we actually go to Pattaya. Now, if you Google Pattaya, you will know, undoubtedly see many, many videos about the sex trade because that's what sort of, you know, hits the internet. But what you won't know about Pattaya often is all of the great normal nightlife, recreation, uh, athletics, and camaraderie uh, that you can have in Pattaya. I truly believe that in two days in Pattaya, if you've got the energy, you can do as much in Pattaya as you can in four or five days in another vacation spot. You can start off in Pattaya by when you get there, you can go to the Million Year Park. The Million Year Park has that va very famous alligator show and that very famous elephant show that they do there uh, and that you'll, you'll see that on videos and you'll also see that on, uh, on TV on occasion. They, uh, they have lion exhibits and that sort of thing. Great, a great animal park and a walk around. And along with that, on the other side of the town, there's the Kew Cow, Kew Pow Zoo and Park, which is, in my mind, I've been to parks and aquariums all over the world and all over the United States. And this is my number one zoo and park to go to. And the reason why is I've never been to a park other than the QPL Park in which I was allowed to grab the horn of a rhinoceros, that I could stroke a giraffe and that I could play with the elephants. Uh, just an amazing place. You can rent a moped for the day, and I'll tell you, you can discover so much stuff in Pattaya in a day just by riding your moped. You can, if you're a foodie, Pattaya, Karat, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, I don't care where you're at in Thailand, I, you could pull off to the side of the highway and it is a foodie's paradise. If you like Asian food, if you like it cooked right, you're gonna love Thailand. You can also ride your moped around and you can visit all the different artists' galleries where they are actually painting the art. Uh, in some of the pictures that you're seeing here, I actually purchased that art or I asked them to paint a particular picture for me and it now hangs in my home. 
In Patia, you can go to any number of one of the very modern shopping centers. If you're into gold, then you can go to any number of the gold outlets there and get a good price on gold, if that's your thing. You can also feed the koi. Why not hand feed some koi? Or why not get a fish pedicure? Or why not get a massage? Walking street, again, sort of a once in a lifetime thing that you kind of, you should do just to get it out of your system. Uh, it's a great time, very safe environment, and, uh, and, and, and uh, you're gonna have a, a, a good time if you, if you like to have a beer or two and you like to eat some good food. If, you, if you're into athletics, you can do anything from soccer to basketball to Muay Thai. Now, a lot of people will say, I'm not traveling halfway around the world to go do basketball, but you may travel halfway around the world to do Muay Thai with some world championship Muay Thai fighters. Um, Patia, Karat, uh, Chiang Mai, uh, are full of gyms ran by ex Muay Thai champions. I mean, in, in Thailand, running into a Muay Thai champion, world champion in Thailand, uh, is, running, is like running into a basketball or football player in Los Angeles. I mean, it's, it's probable and possible. And chances are, if you go to one of their clinics, of course you're gonna meet them. So I love doing Muay Thai there. Uh, not as young as I used to be, but uh, I, still, I still enjoy uh, hitting pads every once in a while. And then of course, if you're going to be in, the, in, a, in a beach town, then why not go to the beach? We were paying, last year, we were paying $40 a night for a hotel room, free buffet breakfast, two swimming pools, right across from the beach. Looking at the beach out my window. Uh, what a great deal. And you know, of course at the beach, they've got all the wind sailing and parachute sailing, and you can go out to the islands. And, and people would ask me, well, why do I like uh, Thailand so much? Well, it's the people. Yes, we will remember the things, but what we really remember and what we really cherish is our interactions with the people. And I will tell you that uh, you're gonna have some good interactions there. And so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you get a chance to go to Thailand. Uh, pick any one of those towns. This has been C. Damon Trek, and have a great day.